I'm doing a quick walkthrough of the van just so you can get a better idea of everything in the photos if it didn't make sense. So this is the back end. You open up the doors. You can do a secondary position with this lock, unlock. You just switch it to the unlock position and then the door comes all the way to the side. So if you want a little bit more room or just more open, you don't have to worry about the wind catching the door or anything like that. And here is the power area. So this is all of the power systems. The item on the left, that's your solar charge controller. The smaller wires one run up the wall to the solar panels. This is your uh, DC fuse box. So this runs all of your appliances. They all have their individual fuses. So everything's protected individually on its own circuit. Down here is your main cutoff power. So that's like a main breaker switch you can just turn off. Everything is fused um, of the main generation with these larger fuses and it comes with a few of these spare. So everything's protected um, as it's supposed to be to be with RV compliance and marine boat standards. Here's your inverter that runs all of the uh, 120 volt outlets like your standard wall plugs. And then this is your uh, cell booster it's, uh, by WeBoost. And uh, that's triggered by some switches up in the front uh, living area. It's protected by a plexiglass shell here and uh, reinforced with a few of these wood standoffs and then it has brackets around the outside to make sure that if you wanna stack things on top of this, which is the battery box, um, you don't have to worry about it touching any of your electrical stuff. So inside the white box here are the three 100 amp hour batteries that it shows in the photos with the lid off. Um, it's just a screwed down lid that's flush, so you can put stuff on top of here and you don't have to worry about anything moving around. Um, and then back here is another fuse that you can see it runs up to where the driver's area is. This is the alternator circuit. So when you're, if there's you know no sun for a few days and you're not generating enough power for your needs, uh, whenever you're driving around, you can turn that circuit on and it's all fully protected. There's a fuse right where it starts and then the fuse back here and it'll let your car's alternator charge your uh, house batteries back here. Continuing on, uh, it's just a quite a large back end area. We fit two bikes, a uh, card table, our two um, zero gravity lawn chairs. And then here on the left is the water tank. So it's a 26 gallon, I believe, water tank. Uh, this hose here on the bottom runs up into the kitchen under the sink and powers, uh, supplies all the water for the sink area. This top hose is just the air vent to make sure that it doesn't um, get pressurized while it's pulling any water out or if you're changing elevation. It's just automatically vented uh, and it keeps it from spilling by running up along the side here. So it's higher than the water tank. So even if you're parked at, you know, a 45 degree angle, no water is going to come out of the tank even if it's 100% full. Alright, so now we can walk around to the front. And here's the, the view of the bed from here. So this is kind of where you're sleeping when the doors are closed. The uh, ceiling vent is right above your face, so it either can pull air through the van or uh, blow air directly onto you when you're laying. Alright, and then on the doors on both sides, we just have a shoe organizer. So just pretty simple, you know, you can toss your hiking boots or any extra shoes if you want to bring, you know, some dress shoes or something on the road. You don't have to have them inside the van with you every day. You can just pop, come back here and grab them when you want to use them. Right, coming around the side. This is the main van entrance. Here first is the heater. So it's just on a little TV stand. So you just undo that strap and then this is on a TV mount that's able to, you know, move around and uh, you can pivot it and move it and face it up and down. You can put it all the way in the aisle or have it back here, you know, whatever you like. We just like the flexibility it gave us. And once you're not using it, just to keep it from moving on the mount, we just had this simple little strap. You just hook it down and back in and it's secure while you drive. And up and in, we have our sink here. So down here on the left is the switch for water pump. Then you're able to, you know, get your sink, got a telescoping head, and it's able to reach, you know, as far as you want. That's really nice. Uh, it's just open countertop. This is the propane stove we used. Uh, it's not mounted permanently. Uh, so we just stowed it away every time we went for a drive. So that way you had 
as much counter space as you wanted um, if you weren't cooking. Next, uh, we got our bench here. So inside this is our refrigerator. So this is supported on a gas shock there. Got your fridge, 55 quarts. That runs off DC power, so you don't have to have the inverter running. And then just a space for groceries or whatever you want to put in there. And over here is the other bench. Same kind of deal. It's just for the uh, storage and all that stuff. There's nothing in there. And uh, you can see that there's a seat belt. So if you have a third person, they can come back here and strap in and not just be rolling around. Up above, we have our light switch and the power for the inverter, which turns on, uh, supplies power to the normal, you know, outlets, uh, 120 volt. You have two of those in the van. Then here's your slide out table. So it's just on a little latch system to keep it held back while you drive. And this pulls out it's quite large. You can do all the work and, you know, plenty of room for eating. If you have a five course meal, it's quite nice. All right, and then down here are the monitors. So the right one is for the solar panels and it shows you what they're generating and then what your battery is doing in the middle. It shows you their state of charge and how much voltage they have. This middle switch is for your Wii Boost. So you can turn on your cell booster from inside the cabin. Uh, and this toggle switch is for the battery monitor here on the left. So in the down position, it measures any power going out. And in the up position, it measures power that's coming into the battery. So uh, right now, since we're generating with the solar power, the down position shows that we're not using anything because we're generating one. Uh, this is the controller for the fan up above. So you can see, you, know, you just hit the power button. It'll open and close the fan for you. You can control speed. Uh, so you can go air in and then hit the turnaround button. It'll push air out. You can open and close the fan, regardless of whether you have the, the fan actually running or not. So if you just want passive air, you can just have it open and not on. And then this is the bed. So it's a queen bed. Uh, it's very comfortable. It's an eight inch memory foam mattress. So after the long hikes and stuff, it's really nice to come in here. And uh, plenty of room to roll around, nothing to hit your head on. And it's uh, really comfortable for me. I'm uh, six foot tall and I have about four more inches of headroom standing here. So it's uh, you know six foot four for a headroom. And then uh, inside these cabinets are just like your dishes. This is where we kept our plates and bowls. This is a whole brand new set that comes with the van. And same deal over here. So just for more food or your bathroom bags or whatever you want to put in there. Same thing down here. More cupboard space. And then here's the under sink area. So you have your trash. That's the water system and the power cable to the uh, alternator circuit that you turn on from in the driver's seat if you want it on or off. Uh, up here is just the you know, standard driving area. Nothing too special or crazy. And uh, then you have a curtain here. So at nighttime, you know, you just draw these across. There's two separate ones here. And so you can still have some airflow coming in through open windows, but people can't see you standing there or doing anything inside the van. And we have, you know, nice finishing touches like full baseboards and uh, vinyl flooring. So it's waterproof, really durable, scratch resistant and uh, stain resistant. So if you spill something, it's not gonna be the end of the world on the floors. Yeah, that's about the, the whole tour. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thanks.